It's Jeremiah with Stone Blue Airlines and back again today to show you the Rap 1200s from Vuzix. Uh, if you've been on my channel, you probably saw my um, Rap 920 uh, review that I talked a little bit about my own personal uh, flying setup and what I'm using for my FPV goggles. I just recently got in these Rap 1200s from Vuzix. They have discontinued the Rap 920s and the Rap 1200s will be the new norm from Vuzix. Um, I've been really happy with my current setup and I'm excited to check these guys out, especially because 3D. Okay, now you can't do 3D, so don't start asking me about that. No, we're not doing 3D setup on the plane. Um, who knows, maybe in the future, maybe we'll put two cameras on one side of the wing and one on the other. It would be kind of cool though and uh, blend the images. But for right now, there's a lot of other cool functions and features that are gonna come with this new Wrap 1200 uh, that won't come with some of the other kits. So one of the pluses with the new setup is they're coming with the power pack. So unlike the previous generation, you have to use AA batteries to power everything. With the new setup, it is a rechargeable unit. So you can go ahead and power everything up charge it and then have much longer runtime without power failure. And if you have a current setup with a 920 like I do, you can jump back back and forth between the systems and or of course mod the system too to run a different battery setup. So we're gonna go ahead and jump through the unboxing and then last but not least, the wrap shields uh, is what you wanna get when you get these goggles, especially for FPV. It really knocks out a lot of the uh, external light that kind of can leak through and we're going to show you how these install. This is all I'm using. I don't have a goggle mod for these done. Uh, I know that's popular with a lot of these. I don't find I really need it at this point and I may do it down the road but uh, let's go ahead and jump in and let me show you what's inside. Okay so here we have the Vuzix Wrap Power Pack uh, base bundle. This is what's going to be uh, included with the kit from now on so you're not going to deal with rechargeable batteries. You can actually uh, deal with a rechargeable unit uh, that's going to power the entire system. Uh, it also comes with a bunch of bundled cables. Again, so we're dealing with a component uh, adapter on this one, um, which of course we can deal with an HD signal on a much higher resolution than our com uh, composite. We have USB for charging. We have our composite adapter cable, uh, again, that we can, of course, plug this one in or the one we have, so we've got a spare. And then we've got the wrap power pack. All right, let's just take a look at here. Read, let's go ahead and do that. It says remove label and charge for four hours before first use. So we definitely want to do that. So we'll see you in about four hours. All right, there we go. Let's dive in and see what these guys look like. Widescreen 3D video like never before. Okay, another benefit of these goggles is if you do travel on a trip and you decide to go out of the area and you're bringing some of your FPV gear, you could actually use these goggles on a long flight, hook them up to an iPod, uh, computer, and do output directly to these screens to watch on a long flight. So that's kind of cool too. All right, so it's quite different from my Wrap 920s to the Wrap 1200s, not only resolution, which is a big thing, but they have individual focus adjustments right on the top. So not only do you have the focus adjustment, of course, on top, that's great, so you can make that quick adjustment on the fly without having to take out the little screw driver that is included with the Rap 920s. Uh, you also have the IPD adjustment to center screens. You have adjustment for nose piece. And then you also have rotation. So you can really get these goggles set where you want them and what's gonna be best for you. All right, so something else I noticed too is that the cable that's attached to uh, the goggles is a softer compound and it's just going to make it a lot easier when using this in the winter and or putting it in your bag. It's just a lot more flexible. So that's great that they're using a softer compound now. So you don't have to worry about, uh, to me in my case, especially when it's cold and you have some of these harder rubber, uh, definitely the chance to flex or bend uh, the cabling and having an issue is definitely more um, more likely out of it. So 
I think that's a nice, uh, nice option that they've changed out. Let's go ahead and find out what's in the rest of this box and show you what uh, is also available with the goggles too. All right, so under the little box, we have, of course, our component AV adapter. Let's go ahead and show you that. So for you uh, iPod, Apple folks out there, again, this is gonna allow you to change some connectability and use this not only for FPV, but also for just general viewing and plugging into your Apple device. Uh, so you'd have to get for the new stuff, you're gonna have to get an adapter on this. All right, next on the list is this composite uh, adapter. Again, same connector as before, slightly different on the other end. And so this is just gonna give you multiple use options on, uh, on this set of goggles. Of course, we get a nice little cleaning rag and a storage case. Comes with a rechargeable battery. So you're basically set and ready to go. Definitely would recommend having an extra set for backup. Headphones, so if you are running audio out on your plane, you can definitely take an audio feed in to the goggles and then run them right into your ears and you've got onboard audio there, very simple. This is, of course, the main control center, which takes the two AA batteries. And then I'm gonna show you guys the new system that's actually included with the new kits. So this one is currently, uh, currently still shipping with um, the old control interface. So our adapters here are just gonna fit right in, uh, depending on what system you're using. So you have input, output, and AA batteries go right inside. All right, so last but not least is the cable that you're really gonna use to fly with FPV. Uh, you need a component out, and you've got audio left and right, and then we have our video. Let's go ahead and show you how this thing hooks up. All right, so we've got uh, the main interface module here, and then we have our composite connector, and then we are just going to connect that in. This is gonna give us our feed, and then we are going to connect that right in. All right, that's all we need to do. We're now set to basically take an input here and then our video out to our goggles. That is it. So with a simple adapter on this side, you're gonna be able to change uh, what the glasses are gonna be able to see, whether it's an iPod or if you get the other accessory kits uh, too. So you can plug it to your computer. So the nice thing too on this is you have a lot of multiple uses uh, for this, not only for FPV. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna show you the next uh, important item to get if you pick up these goggles. You definitely want to pick up the wrap light shields. Uh, they're inexpensive and they really change um, honestly being able to view these in the daylight. So you definitely want to add these on if you're not going to do some kind of like a ski goggle mod. Uh, again, quick and easy install. I'm going to show you how that works. All right, so we've got our goggles ready to go. The uh, light shield has been unwrapped and you're just gonna to wanna to orientate the nose piece, of course, to the bottom. Then it's pretty simple as far as installing this. You're just gonna basically, it takes a little bit to get behind, but you're gonna basically start and slide these up from the front, uh, wrapping these around the sides until you get them fully covering and providing a light barrier around. So let's go ahead and uh, hit fast forward and let me see if I can get these on. All right, there you have it. The light shield is installed. Only took a matter of a couple minutes. And actually, once these guys have been installed for a while, they really don't tend to move around. Um, I've been using mine for the last six months and they really work great. And the amount of light that they block out is pretty impressive too. So that's why I haven't had to do a ski goggle mod on the current ones that I'm wearing. Um, now that everything is set up, I went ahead and through those chargeable batteries, rechargeable batteries in. All you're gonna do is you're gonna push the little double line bar till it lights up, and there we go, the screen is on. I will tell you what, already without not having 
even really calibrated or done anything, just the initial screen view. It's going to be pretty neat. You've got 4.3, zoom, and full adjustment on the inside. And we'll get a little bit closer in here. I'm going to get everything set up and then we'll look inside. Uh, but so far, these are going to be really neat to test out. But I've got one other thing to show you. So that's going to replace this module. Uh, so that you don't have to worry about using res uh, rechargeable batteries. So let's take a look at that. All right, so it's been four hours. Our power pack is charged and ready to go. This is going to replace the standard um, OSD or control box on its own that takes the AA batteries. So basically just going to plug it in the same way, match the connectors up, and then you're going to press and hold to power it on. So everything works and uh, runtime on the additional power pack is six hours. So that's a nice uh, feature and be able to charge this up and run for six hours and then have this as a backup if you need. All right, so I've had some flight time on these goggles from Vuzix and overall I'm really impressed uh, with them again. I mean, I really like the pair that I've been flying on for the last six months and these are excellent. Uh, the wide viewing angle is actually pretty slick. Uh, most of my flights have been on my quad. And with the, although it is technically stretching it, um, it really looks good. It really looks excellent. And it definitely is even more immersive than uh, currently what I'm flying on. So going back to a smaller screen, kind of like, what? Why am I doing that? Um, so, so far I've been really happy with these. Um, they've worked really well. Now I tried to do some close-ups of, uh, of the screen here and as you'll see we're going to be looking at a static image because darn if that wasn't hard to do. Uh, so I got my cell phone in there and snapped a shot so you guys could see uh, what the on-screen display looks like. If you'll notice uh, it's of course got some different settings 2D, 3D, RG, uh, basically different color balance. Um, you can change view, you can, most of the stuff again, you're going to leave off. Um, up at the top, the UD123 and PC, uh, and then you've got basically um, a mode to change for color. Most of those, what I'll do is I'll tweak for a daylight flight, and then I'll tweak for a night flight or a dusk. So I'll have kind of like three settings. I think this current one I have for a daylight flight. And so I'll bump the contrast a little heavier in daylight. In the evening, I'll take a little contrast out because I want to bump up overall um, brightness in the goggles. And uh, they work really well. So it's pretty simple to get through. Again, just a basic button menu. And uh, that's pretty much it. Very straightforward. Um, overall, I've been really happy with these. I think they are definitely worth checking out. So get a set, try them out, and Take them for a flight, and if you don't like them, return them. But what I think is going to happen is you're going to hang on to them, and they're going to become uh, one of your staples for FPV. Um, I really like them, and I'm looking forward to doing some more flights this year with them. Guys, thanks for joining me on this review, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.